Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at nonlinear scrolling techniques in Adobe XD. So if you have a web page that you want to scroll vertically for a while before it goes horizontal, we're just going to try out some neat things with scroll groups to get that to work in a prototype. Um, this requires nesting scroll groups and using the new scroll group feature in XD. I say new, it's been around for a little while now, but um, if you're new to scroll groups in Adobe XD, I have a video on that that you can click right here. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So this is just a quick overview of the page that we're going to be looking at, and it goes vertical for a while before you hit the end of this scroll group, and then it goes horizontal before going vertical again. And it doesn't switch screens. It's all on the same artboard. I have this neat interaction to show that you can also link your menu animations up as well without it interfering with the scroll group. And all that jazz. We're just going to take a look at a rough wireframe diagram of how this works because it involves a very specific way of linking up the scroll groups. The easiest way that I can describe it is using this diagram that uses a monochromatic color scheme to show which scroll groups are which. So the gray signifies a vertical scroll group and then where the vertical scroll groups overlap is where we'll be grouping horizontal scroll groups. And you can make the vertical experience as long as you want. You can make the horizontal experience as long as you want, as you can see on the right side. So essentially we're just horizontal scrolling vertical scroll groups. And we'll take a look at this quick prototype that shows the overlapping of the vertical and horizontal scroll groups. Our very first scroll group is going to actually be the very end of our web page. So we'll start scrolling up here, but this scroll group is actually the very last one on our list. We'll be linking up vertical scroll group three and one and two, our second scroll group. And then from there, the third with the fifth through the fourth scroll group. And we'll just walk through this very simply and we'll only be doing these two vertical scroll groups, which makes for a total of three groups in total. And now taking a look at our makeshift page, um, I've laid it all out so that everything is visible because by the end of prototyping everything up, it'll all be on a single page that doesn't have any scrolling enabled. I actually turned off the vertical scrolling on the artboard. Okay, so we're gonna start grouping the sections of this landing page for this article, this fake article, by taking them module by module. And as you can see, I've separated the page into four modules. I have this very last one where the article exists, the intro to the article, and then just a little call out underneath the hero section. And so I want this part to be vertical scrolling, this part to be horizontal, and this part to be vertical scrolling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the very last module on the website. Important to note, last module. And I'm going to take the module above that. And rather than control G grouping, I'm going to just go ahead and click the vertical scroll with these two modules selected. So it'll create a scroll group. I'm gonna name this first scroll group. And I'm going to line up the handles so that it's 1080, which is the height of our initial artboard. And then I'm going to make sure that these are lined up. They sure are. This would be our third module and our second module. I want them to horizontal scroll, so I'm going to select them both and hit the horizontal scroll group and it'll automatically make it the width of the artboard because this is on our artboard. So now if we click in, you can see that our first scroll group is it's got an opacity on it because it's off of the artboard when the user scrolls within the prototype they'll be going horizontally and then once they reach this module it'll automatically allow them to scroll vertically and now for our very last scroll group we're going to be scrolling vertically which means that i'm going to take this hero module 
and then our horizontal scroll group and I'm going to select the vertical scrolling option and then just line up the handles on our scroll group. And now, as you can see, our artboard is too long for our scroll group and we don't need that. And so I'm going to bring our artboard up to 1080. And then I'm just gonna turn off scrolling because all of the scrolling exists within the scroll group and our scroll group is taking up the entire height and width of our canvas, of our artboard. And now I'm going to name this third scroll group. I'm just gonna go in and make sure that this one is named second scroll group. Awesome. And there you have it. That was nonlinear scrolling in Adobe XD and it's just some neat things that you can do with scroll groups. I hope it was rather simple. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And if you wanna learn anything else about Adobe XD or otherwise, we have a lot of tutorials or we can make new ones and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.